The footage in this video is transformative and is protected under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 for purposes of criticism, comments or news reporting. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now the plot thickens. The plot thickens. So, old mates at uh, Seven News, old meat, meat industry funded um, Seven News. Um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with what's been going on, just check my last few videos on this whole Channel 7 drama, the, the anti-vegan bias they've been promoting here, perpetuating. So we've got this one here. Country Cafe closes after vile threats and harassment by vegan activists. So obviously we, we can't trust this media outlet. We've proven that, you know, beyond doubt. Let's just have a look here. These two here, we got the owners of a family friendly farm forced to close on Sunday say they've been personally threatened in a campaign of harassment by animal activists against their business. Really interesting. Um, I know animal activists in Victoria and they don't usually harass people. They don't, they don't usually harass anyone without any justification. What could possibly be going on in this family-friendly friend cafe? Now, it's obviously the opposite of whatever Channel 7 says is going on. <laughs> Channel 7 says is going on. Let's have a look here. So we've got John and Penny Gomans. Let's just go to... Uh, had a little bit of a suss around. Went to their page here. Gippy Goat Cafe. Here we go. Looks like a little pleasant Gippy Goat Cafe there. Looks like they might sell the goat's milk from the goats in the cafe. What this place is, Gippy Goat, it's it's like a, a cafe where they serve food. I think they do open days there for, for families to come and meet the goats. They've also got a big goat dairy operation out the back. And apparently they don't let anyone out the back. But some activists went out the back and found some pretty horrific stuff. Take a look at this. Look at the suffering. Look at this. Suffering baby goats at the back there. Now a lot of this footage was included in Dominion and it's really disgusting the abuse they found there. Look at that. Absolute hellhole there. But, you know, family-friendly cafe old Gippy Goat. Let's have a look here. Gippy Goat has decided to close today. Will be our last day. Thanks. Thank you to our dedicated staff and social media, media followers. Loyal customers. Like, oh, I'm so sad. I feel so sad for them after seeing what happened to those goats there. So who do they blame it on? Our staff and customers have been subjected to nearly four months of constant harassment, vile statements and threats from the abusive vegan activists. Abusive vegan activists, right? Do you see what's going on in their farm? You know, uh, this is classic case of them playing the victim here. Rejoice in victory. Eight good people are now without a job. So apparently that wasn't even the real reason they shut down. And it looks like someone has exposed that in this Facebook comment. Families can no longer enjoy the good food and open space. And children can no longer interact with our animals. Why don't you let the children interact with those animals suffering in those sheds out the back, hey? Yeah, you don't want no one to know about this. Now let's just look at how meat industry funded Channel 7 um, reported on the activist here. Oh, here they are. Here they hit the activist rescuing a goat. Now they didn't just jump and steal a goat for no reason. There was definitely just cause to, to rescue those goats. They weren't under good care. They've threatened to come and do us harm. Well, where are these threats of harm? Where are these threats of harm? I'd like to know. I, I, I can show you some threats of harm towards the activist, that's for sure. We have personally been subjected to appalling streams of threat, extreme violence against ourselves, our family, our staff, and even their families. Sounds like you're playing the victim here. Where's your evidence of extreme abuse from activists? Listen to this. Good people, innocent people being targeted in this, in this way is totally unacceptable and un-Australian. Un-Australian, hey? Totally innocent people? Are you saying that you're completely innocent in this? Sounds like a bit of self-victimization here. L now listen to this. This is this is an account from someone who worked there. Now, if you want to go go to Melbourne Melbourne Goat Safe, if you want to want to um, read the whole thing, probably the biggest atrocity there is what happened to the male kids. Often hundreds of butt kids uh, every day during kidding season were bludgeoned to death with a hammer to the head. Bludgeoned to death with a hammer to the head. Hey, is that how you treat infants? Absolutely sick. Now, there's many other things that happen there. Uh, you see uh, many, uh, lots of lameness, lots of lame goats. 
This guy's not walking very well. Oh my god. Oh. I recommend you call the you vet for this her? one as well. That one's clearly suffering. Please have a heart. She's probably also pregnant. Here's some activists here. Here's one. This is Joanne. Look at this, lame goat. Are you going to help her? No? Look. Then the activists come in and rescue the injured goat. Do they mention that? It's just, you know, the extreme activists steal livestock, you know, encourage property damage, trespass, the abusive activists, the narrative given by the media. Now, who is this guy? I look at him, so kind to the goats here. Is he really kind to the goats? Don't get me wrong, they are very productive, wonderful animals. They're very productive, are they? They, they? they give you a lot of business, do they? Um, very clean in the shed to milk, and they have great ability to replace themselves quite quickly. Replace themselves? Why, after you bludgeon the other ones in the head with a hammer? This guy's only interested in his goats as far as they fill his little pockets. Bubs Australia. Now, what is Bubs Australia? Bubs Australia is like this big, you know, baby formula company. It's crazy how much money this rakes in. See, look, here's a picture of him here. Look at him with his little goat in his hand. Oh, wow, he's such an amazing angel to the animals, John. Now, look, Bubs Australia continues to grow with an $84 million deal after a little bit of courtship. The infant food and formula company Bubs Australia has inked a deal valued at about $84 million that will guarantee an exclusive supply from the country's biggest milk, goat milking herd. Bubs will acquire 100% of Newlac Foods. What's Newlac Foods? New lack foods. Look at this. All this goat milk. This looks like just a big dairy. This guy's just a big dairy mogul. Now, now it's funny how they're like, oh, country cafe, John and Penny Gomans. Like, it looks like this family-owned farm. It looks like this family business. But this guy's multi-millionaire. The Sydney headquartered company was established in 2006 and has big hopes for its sales in China. Now has a market capitalization of around $226 million. Wow, bubs milk it's interesting that they exploit and kill these goats to feed to babies they exploit and kill babies to feed to babies when babies should just be really drinking out of their mother's breast milk why are meat industry funded seven news defending these two why are they defending these two it's almost like this guy could be friends with old kerry stokes you know you remember old kerry stokes the meat industry mogul that runs channel seven this news media outlet here well, it turns out, how the rich invest, Kerry Stokes, how is this? Billionaire Kerry Stokes, best performing stock over the past year is a surprise packet in infant formula. Wow. Which particular infant formula, old Kerry Stokes? Here we go. Stokes, best known for his uh, role as chairman of Channel 7. We already know that. We established that, that he's industry biased. We already know that he runs Channel 7. Has a shareholdings in Bubs Australia. Bubs Australia, wow, with old John Gomans, the, the owner of Gippy Goat Cafe that has to shut down because activists exposed the horrific cruelty in that place. Interesting, very interesting that even Kerry Stokes is involved and has shares. Here we go, Bubs shares are up 331% in the last year. This was in March 2018. Wow, this wouldn't be good for your shares, would it, Kerry? Would it, Kerry? You know, the, the activist exposing this cruelty and abuse that goes on in that farm, that wouldn't be good for shares. Very, very interesting, hey? How is that? The plot thickens. And here's another one from Channel 7 News. Militant vegans promising biggest animal rights direct action the world has ever seen. See, this is just, you know, extreme vegan activists. All this, all this anti-vegan news propagated by Channel 7, ran by a media mogul, Kerry Stokes. Let's just have a look at the type of people who support this Gippy Goat Cafe. This was in the comment section of this post on the Gippy Goat Cafe. It's got 3.4 thousand likes. Seriously need to have a punch and activist in the face day. So there we go, promoting violence, inciting violence, um, which, you know, I'm, I'm all for free speech, but not when it incites actual violence. Chris Hellings, he's put the definition of terrorist up, like we don't know what the definition of terrorist is. A person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. Use unlawful violence. Now, so let's just look up the word terrorize. Here we go. Terrorize. Create and maintain a state of extreme fear and distress in someone to fill with terror. Now, how do you think these animals feel when they're getting bludgeoned in the skull and thrown in a bin? 
Maybe they're filled with terror. Well, maybe you think, you know, animals don't feel pain. Maybe you think plants feel pain. I don't know. The activists haven't won. They've shown us the low life people they are. We will not support anything to do with any type of vegan lifestyle now. So you will continue to abuse animals because of activists. Doesn't seem like the animals did anything wrong to you. So why do they deserve that? Here we go. This Travis Gregaros guy. Can you please name the people who have been involved? Let us deal with these disgusting humans. That sounds like a threat, Travis. You better be careful about that. This guy here, this sick guy, Jake Michael Gregoric, sent a message to Joanne Lee, a female activist. Real tough guy this guy must be. Joanne, what's your address so me and my crew of guys can come kidnap and take you out bush? That's a threat of murder. Well, uh, well, you're only going to take someone out bush if you're going to kill him. Pray to God that I never see you as that will be the day of your life that ends. It's not a threat, it's a f***ing promise. Well, you're promising to kill her? That sounds like a death threat, Jake. The, life, the killing of animals to eat is part of the circle of life. If you can't grasp, grasp on that, then you should end your life yourself. These activists are literally exposing this type of cruelty and violence to goats. People are threatening to murder them over it. This guy here, Jake Michael Gregoric, this is him with his... Uh, looks like his baby has passed away or something in this photo which is quite sad but it's not justified to send death threats to female activists buddy not justified at all better be careful of that that's you know he's doing this on a public page it's not even me exposing it he's doing it on a public page so interesting the gippy goat cafe if you'd like to leave your comments and criticisms in the, this status over here you know good riddance good riddance mate you're a bloody Bubs Australia Dairy Mogul. You've got mil multi you're invested in multi-million dollar companies, mate. You're not some family-owned farm. And even if it was a family-owned farm, the abuse that happens to, to animals in these places is absolutely horrific. It's time that we all expose old Kerry Stokes corporate-owned meat industry biased meat mogul media company Channel 7. Can't believe he's even got his little fingers in this uh, Gippy the Goat debate. Wow, when, whenever someone's you know, financial interests are uh, jeopardized, they'll definitely step in. And this guy's a billionaire, so he's got a lot of power. He'd, he'd have a lot of power in politics as well. Today, the Palaszczuk government is making an announcement about new tough laws to crack down on these farm invasions by those animal rights zealots. They have been invading our farms over a period of time and we've made a decision to draw a line in the sand. We'll also be engaging in, for the first time ever, a joint task force around intelligence. Absolutely crazy. Kerry Stokes at it again. Gippy the goat, good riddance. Stop abusing animals. Stop, in, stop making money off the abuse of animals. You know what? John Goman, you're probably a nice guy, but you've been indoctrinated into this, you know, hellish way of making a living. Why are you sentient beings? Why not invest in plant milk? Why not? There's a growing market for it, you know? We need more people investing in plant milk. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's end it. This is so unnecessary, this violence towards goats. The process for goats is no different to the process for cow dairy. They artificially inseminate the goats, separate the children. There's no use for the, the goats in, you know, goat dairies. They bludgeon them in the head. Um... You know, all these goats are murdered when their milk production declines. They're walking around, you know, with lameness, cruelty, and, you know, they're feeding this violence to unsuspecting kids who would not who, who would want no part in it. So what do you guys think of that? The plot thickens, hey? Follow the money. Never been a truer statement, okay? And we all need to do that as, as vegans, as activists, and even non-vegans. Look at this. Look at this bias. Look at this corruption. Look at this cruelty. Tell me if you want to support it. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. This is crazy, guys. I can't believe this, hey. We offer the mo world's most incredible free-range, drug-free, insecticide-free product. Nothing but pure beef. And no one else is capable of that. This is in quotes. This is Mr. Stokes talking. Offering beef. He's a beef farmer.